hello everyone so today we are going to be making some reversible satin bonnet pillowcases this uh, chart shows the regular size of the pillowcases or the standard size of different kinds of pillowcases and today i'm going to be working on the queen size pillowcase and here is the amount of fabric you will need per pillowcase size i'm using the queen size and so we need two different kinds of fabric i'm using the lilac and a blue fabric i'm going to be using uh, drawstrings and uh, the entire drawstring kit which is just this tiny thing and the strings i used to think that drawstrings were difficult to fix but it turns out they are pretty easy all you have to do is press that thing and put the two ropes inside like so the first thing i'm doing is cutting out my fabric with the dimension that i showed you earlier that is 31 inches by 41 inches because i'm making a queen size fabric now i fold the two fabrics together into two on fold like this because it's easy for me to cut it since they are together so i just do it one at the time instead of uh, going to each corner you're going to understand what i'm saying now so at the edge of each of these corners, I'm going to go in by 5 inches to the right and 5 inches downward like this. 5 inches to the right, I mark it, and then 5 inches downward. And that's 5 inches by 5 inches. And there you have it. So because I put it on fold, that means I'm already cutting out two corners at the same time right now. And that is exactly what I'm going for. So I don't have to cut each corner one after the other. So now i'm just using my t square or what's the name of this tool <laughs> it's a ruler ruler a corner ruler so i'm using my corner ruler or my four corner ruler i don't even know the name and i'm just using the straighten my line because you know me i do not draw a straight line like that so now i've just cut out the first corner and i'm going to repeat it to the second corner underneath it so i'm just going to drag this down and also measure 5 inch by 5 inch remember that the fabric is on fold that means that i'm dealing with two sides at the same time so i'm going to just open it out now so you see that the four corner affects both sides and that's this is what it looks like so all the four corners are cut out five by five just like that when i open it out all the four corners were affected because i cut it out on fold now after doing that i'm going to just take one of my satin fabric fold it at that edge that i cut it out and then use a 0.5 inches seam allowance to sew it down i'm going to repeat it on all the different four corners for the two fabrics now after doing that you see the way it looks is looking you know he's already looking pillowcasey already he's looking pillowcasey so i'm just bringing out all the corners to show you what it looks like and i did that also for the blue satin fabric now if you don't want it to be reversible you just want to use one fabric all you have to do is fold it into two like this and then sew it all the way around and then pass your elastic through it that's if you don't want it to be reversible you just want one layer of uh satin uh pillowcase or satin bonnet pillowcase now because we want it to be reversible we're going to take the second blue part and put it right side to right side that is shiny part facing shiny part and then layer them on each other like so and then sew it all the way round. now i want to make sure that each corner matches each corner the purple matches the blue corner just like the way i'm showing you now each corner matches each corner now in some parts the purple was a little bit longer than the blue so i pleated it a little bit so that they will still match each corner on each of the corners of the pillowcase i keep saying corner but i think you get my drift and i left a two inches uh space just to be able to turn it inside out if you've watched my bonnet tutorials you know that we always need that two inches that two inches is king for all bonnet tutorials and even anything that you want to turn inside out you always need at least two inches space to be able to turn it inside out So after turning it i laid it out and look at it it's already looking so beautiful the blue and the purple they go so well together right 
so after that you're just going to sew all the way around is this is just like making a bunny like it's just like making a bunny just the cutting is different so i'm just going to sew it all the way around i sewed it now with 0 0.75 inches seam allowance so that's three quarter of an inch seam allowance and i still have my two inches space here that i'm going to use to pass my um drawstring i keep forgetting the name of the thing is drawstring so before i know the amount of drawstring i'm going to use i'm going to measure the entire like the edge that i just finished sewing i'm just going to measure it out when i measured it out i had 46 inches so i just subtracted 10 inches from it so that my drawstring will just be 36 inches just so it will have that same um, squeezing you know the squeezing pattern that we are you know going for and I'm, i just used 36 inches so you can use the same formula that i used measure your entire length it could be wider or smaller and just subtract 10 inches and that will be the length of the drawstring that you need okay so now i just got the simple ear pin and i tied my drawstring on the ear pin like that i could have used a safety pin but my safety pin is too big for the old for some reason so i'm just using the um, ear pin instead and i believe like everybody has that ear pin at home like even if you don't have safety pin you have ear pin all right so i'm just passing the drawstring inside my tunnel the 0.75 inches tunnel that i made earlier and i'm passing it all the way around into it it wasn't easy to pass but we succeeded this is this is a testimony so after i brought it out i'm using my teeth here to open it because it didn't know to answer me so just like just if you see anything just close your eyes to that part so i brought out the the drawstring or and i have the two of them outside now and then you see my um I don't know the name of this black thing all i know is that i squeezed it and i put the drawstring in through the hole so all you have to just squeeze it like i thought it was going to be more difficult than that but it's not just squeeze it and then put the 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 drawstring right through the hole the two drawstrings you see yeah it was very easy to do and that that is almost like the end of this tutorial so i'm just going to knot the each drawstring or each string I'm just doing not each string so it doesn't come out or like the, the knot is just to make sure that anytime you press that black thing the the strings don't come out of the black thing because that would just be quite a waste of energy and we don't want that all right so this is the uh, the satin reversible pillowcase and we still have one more step to take at the two inches opening remember the two inches opening that we used to turn it inside out we have to stitch it down to make it look neat if you have a glue gun you can just use a glue gun to just glue it down together if you can if you want needle and thread you can use needle and thread to, to stitch it down but i'm just going to take it to the machine and just stitch both sides of the of the of the space just stitch both sides of the space and then we i think then our cap will be ready or i keep calling it's not a cap our satin bony pillowcase will be ready to be put upon the pillow that we're going to use all right so i finished stitching it and here we have it just a tiny stitch on either side and now we still have our drawstring space to you know draw out our string or the bigness or the smallness of our pillowcase however it is that you want now if only i have a pillow to wear this pillowcase on in my office well i think i do and i do and nobody should ask me why i have a pillow in my office like everybody should be minding their business in the remaining year the remaining months of this 2021 i have a pillow yes and the pillow has suffered so much and i'm removing all the threads that has been associated with the pillow and i'm wearing my uh satin bonnet on the pillow are you i don't ask me what i use the pillow for just know that i have a pillow in my studio and that's it period that's it so i'm just putting on my uh satin fabric on or the satin pillowcase i'm wearing it for my pillow as you can see me do is looking so nice and i'm spreading out the elastic on every side of the pillow or on of the pillowcase on the pillow so you can always use this instead of the regular you know stuff the 
advantage of this look at it i'm just going to enjoy this fully in my working place i'm going to enjoy it the advantage of it is that it can also double as a bonnet so if you are traveling and you just take this you can use it as a bonnet if you don't want to use it as a pillowcase look at it it looks so good either way so if you enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it comment in this comment section thank you very much for watching bye